Hi folks out there, how you doing? This is a very, very rare 1957 silver certificate one dollar bill. If you notice the rarities of these notes, these are demand notes. I've been collecting these for decades and I would admire, I admire these notes for the history and the art that goes behind anything Americana. This great nation has such history and this is a good incentive in how I used to teach the kids art, excuse me, history and art and especially talking to them about our first president George Washington, General Washington. Let's focus on the serial numbers. It is very, very rare to see anything like this with six zeros and a star. If you notice, the star is is in the uh, prefix front letter. And the modern money or most of the other money, it would be at the suffix after the A. The first letter is called the prefix, which is missing here, and it added a star. And it also displays the original 13 Federal Reserve Banks that still exist today. They still maintain the 13 original banks. Also, that is also a great history, like I says, behind these to teach not only, you know, just yourself, your friends, your family and especially the kids look at the art that they you know you know what, what an amazing um just amazing art look at the you know what I mean? you know what i mean the people that just amazing i really and like i says look at the uh serial number to see how rare this is to see anything like this for me folks this is a truly a museum piece because what's going to happen that we all need to start helping and preserving these notes because you know what's happening now everything is digital everything is debit everything is credit nobody uses these you know the money anymore and for an example this note here say that it was gone right that's it they would never produce anything like this at all we need you folks out there to keep your eyes open in your ears if of course as we learn and talk amongst each other i would love you know other people like i said just want to waste your time me i'm learning to educate you help you and make you a few bucks here and there which you definitely will find tremendous value every day in these as we speak right now you might have a rare piece or a piece of treasure that could be on you right now it could be in your draw it could be in a little cookie jar. I don't know. However, you collect uh, the money. And what's happening now? A lot of people don't understand. Every bill that goes into the, um, you know, to the treasury, the treasury destroys them. And, you know, especially if they're dirty or whatever. You know, they destroy them, and then they'll just reprint different dates. You'll never see these again. I think these are true history true i mean look at it for me i admire these like how you admire a painting or how you admire a sculpture or how you would, would admire an antique that you might collect or something vintage i mean look at the art you know look at to see this in this grade let me just pick this up a little bit for you guys to to see this in this you know grade i don't even like to touch these i just put them in the uh sleeves after I actually is a good see these it's a good time actually for me to even and I apologize I don't put the sleeves because what happens is it glares from my camera but these are the sleeves folks I'd like to show you the sleeve actually that this will insert right inside after very carefully not to cut it or damage it or smudge it when you put it in but these are the sleeves that I use to protect all these, you know, I the, everything I have. See them for an example. Look at this beauty right here, the twenty dollars. 
the 1928. All my stuff will go into protective sleeves. Thanks again.